쭉이 돈 주고 또. 
So <laughs> the bride and the groom have requested an unplugged ceremony. So that means if you can please keep your cell phones in your pocket, that would be great. Enjoy the ceremony. and friends of Leonard and Mina, welcome. Leonard and Mina are happy to share this day with you. You've watched them grow up, you went to school with them, you worked with them, you've waited on Leonard, whether it's to play a nerdy board game <laughs> or to propose to Mina. <laughs> uh, yes. Because you've supported them and you know them so well, it's fitting that you're the ones here to share this new beginning with them. One of my favorite memories of Leonard and Mina is traveling through Europe together. We had a blast. And one thing that I learned about them is that they're always up for an adventure together. In, in this new coming life, there are gonna be a lot of new adventures. As this wedding approached, I asked them individually, you know, why do they want to get married? And Mina was pretty quick to respond. Uh, she said she never met anyone like Leonard, that he's honest and he always says what he's thinking, maybe even when he shouldn't. <laughs> and Leonard said he wants to get married because he wants to tell her and everyone in his life that he can't live without her. It may be the most sentimental thing I've ever heard from him, and I loved it. Um, I think it's important. Marriage is a commitment. We, we, grow, we can grow together when we know each other. Uh, we, when we can grow together, we can know each other we can love each other. Leonard and Mina have been through so much already. They met in college. 
Leonard started his career, <laughs> then he moved across the country. <laughs> Mina started dental school and moved. They journeyed all over the world. They've learned to grow together. So today, they're committing to keep growing, keep growing together, to keep starting new adventures. I believe in love and sharing love. I believe in language, and in some ways, I think that's all we have. So three phrases were gifted to me on my wedding day that I want to gift to you. So the first one is thank you. So giving thanks for and with your partner is one of the most important habits that you can build in a marriage. By giving thanks, you're sharing your happiness, you're sharing your love. But it takes time and intention and practice to put it in practice. So let's start now. So Leonard, look, look at Mina and repeat after me. Thank you. Thank you. Mina. Look at Leonard. You're already doing it. Thank you. Always, <laughs> always be grateful for the journey that you walk together and, that the, and for the journey that's coming. So the second phrase that I was gifted is, I love you. We all need to be loved and appreciated. It's a human thing. So, so make each other know that they are loved. It's one of the most precious gifts that you can give. True love emerges when you can appreciate the positive, the negative, the good, bad, the happy, and the sad. So today, I'm saying it's your job to not only love each other, but to make sure that the other person knows that, they, that you love them. So, Mina, repeat after me. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Leonard, repeat after me. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Always let your partner know to their core that they are loved. The third phrase, and maybe hardest phrase that we were gifted is, I'm sorry, please forgive me. It's a hard fact that we have the ability to hurt those that we love the most, the deepest. So to break it down, I'm sorry, you have to acknowledge what you've done or neglected to do Step outside yourself and see the world from your partner's point of view. Please forgive me. By requesting forgiveness, you have to be vulnerable. You have to start the process of moving forward. Neither step is easy, but both will bring you closer. Both will make your marriage stronger. So let's try this on. Leonard, repeat after me. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Mina, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you guys. <laughs> so language is important, words are important, and we've come to the part where the words take Leonard and Mina from being engaged to being married. So, Leonard, repeat after me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Leonard, do you take Mina to be your wife, to have, to hold, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, for as long as you both shall live? I do. Mina? Do you take Leonard to be your husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish for long, 
for as long as you both shall live. I do. That was cute. Um, so your wedding rings is, a sim is an outward symbol of the in inner love that you both share, the inner lives that are about to be entwined. So Ivan, can you uh, bring Mina's wedding ring? Hand it to Lennon, please. Leonard, place this ring on Mina's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. I bind my life to yours. I bind my life to yours. It's a symbol of my eternal love. It's a symbol of my eternal love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrows. And the promise of all my tomorrows. I would really bring the, the wedding to Nina. And sit down. But. <laughs> Mina, place the ring on Leonard's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you. With this ring, I marry you. I bind my life to yours. I bind my life to yours. It's a symbol of my eternal love. It's a symbol of my eternal love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrows. And the promise of all my tomorrows. Thank you. May the wedding rings exchanged here today remind you always that you're surrounded by enduring love. May you always be thankful for each other. May I love you's fill every day. May forgiveness be ever flowing. May you never stop starting. And now, by the power vested in me, I declare you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. And now, I am very pleased to announce Mr. and Mrs. Untung.
Bernard for their first dance. My name is Yuha, I'm the maid of honor, and I want to thank you uh, for being here uh, to celebrate the couple's uh, marriage. I met Mina in freshman year in college on the day of homecoming bon bonfire. Uh, we were introduced by a mutual friend, and Mina didn't seem so thrilled to have met me, honestly. <laughs> um, um, I thought we'll never see each other again. But to be fair, I think both of us are well known amongst our friends to have that look, you know, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but um, now she's my best friend. I th 
And I think the last decade of my life would have been devastating without knowing her. She's like a sister that I never have. And I have two. Um, so <laughs> um, there are many things I love about Mina, but I think what makes her so special is her brutal honesty and her kind heart that is at the foundation of all. Having raised in South Korea, I sometimes struggle deciphering people after moving in the States. Koreans are very straightforward, and I felt puzzled and disconnected from the world without having people around me telling uh, things the way it is. When Bina threw truth bombs at me, it was a fresh breeze of air and the light at the end of the tunnel. I knew I could trust this girl. When I had a total mental breakdown from a bad breakup in college, and I called Mina out of the blue, she showed up at my apartment at no time, and she stayed with me until I was no longer discombobulated. When one of us uh, was halfway across the world, um, she would write me a handwritten letter that made everything seems okay. Um, when I shared my childhood experience that had scarred me deeply, she didn't know what to do at that moment, but um, she joined the helpline to help others who were going through the same terrible experience to survive. Um, overall, she's just truly special and a beautiful person inside out. And I wish nothing but the best for this girl. And then one day, she told me she went to go meet this guy named Leonard at a mall. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, uh, first date at a mall. I was a little skeptical, but Leonard has earned my respect and trust over the last eight years they have been together. He's one of the most generous, sincere, and smart people I know. But most importantly, he loves food uh, and his dear friends. When Leonard and Mina throw a party, it is almost guaranteed, I mean, did I say almost? No, always guaranteed that there will be delicious food and a room full of generous and down-to-earth people. And that's us. <laughs> um, Mina and Leonard, it has been my privilege to see you two grow and uh, as a strong couple. You two complement each other perfectly in a unique way. Just like any other couples in this room, um, I know your journey together hasn't been nothing uh, like a fairy tale, but they say a great marriage is not when the perfect couple come together. It is when an imperfect couple learns to enjoy their differences. I have seen you communicate and challenge each other to strengthen and deepen your love for each other. Continue to fall back in love with each other because you deserve the best and you have found each other. So um, I love you both. Hi, hello. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Ivan, and uh, I was chosen to be Leonard's uh, best man. Uh, before I start, I would like to thank uh, Yuha for his speech, and everyone who came here t today, and uh, everyone who worked so hard to make this event possible, and uh, even to those who were unable to make it to this grand occasion. So uh, thanks. Um, anyways, I've uh, known Leonard uh, since I was born, uh, <laughs> obviously. Since we're brothers, and uh, I more or less uh, knew the, the good sides and the bad sides of him growing up, and uh, over time, I just kind of grew to understand that he was just uh, a really awkward person. <laughs> and uh, it's perfectly, perfectly reflected in why I'm here in the first place. So, so story time. Uh, the, first, the first time um, he asked if, he wa if I wanted to be his best man, it, like we were just getting out of his car, and then he just like kind of like hit his head away and just like mumbled it to like air. <laughs> and I was like, I have no idea what you were saying. So like I didn't actually know he wanted me to be his best man until like way later. <laughs> so, um, but even then, uh, like we did it kind of in, uh, in an unorthodox way. It was like, you, you were still kind of like stumbling and you know, kind of like, kind of, you didn't know how to say it. So I was just like, 
I held up Tochi and I was like, okay, just, just try to talk as if you're talking to Tochi and ask me. <laughs> so that happened and that worked. Um, so yeah, we, we had some uh, great times together. Um, he was always the one who wanted to try different things. And uh, we were always just kind of like in on for the ride. He was, he was, he was, um, he spearheaded, spearheaded these kind of experiences. And uh, it kind of led us to like a whole bunch of different, different experiences, like um, from cooking pho into the way early morning hours. Um, uh, and even, you know, like even some of the things I'm, I'm doing nowadays, like one day, when I was like, I don't know, like 13 or something, he told me to just put a computer together. And I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. And he would just, you know, he was just like, okay, do this, do this, do this. I'm like, okay, fine. Um, so, but even that, you know, like, he, you know, like he, he was always the one to take us out to places. So it was like when we were going to snowboarding in um, New Mexico and even to, uh, to Europe, like we went to go see an, an opera at a, the opera, the Vienna Opera House. So, thank you, Leonard, for uh, spearheading our family trips. Um, you inspired me to take my own trips. Love you lots. <laughs> uh, so, over the years, he um, kind of delved deep into different hobbies, and the, like describing him is almost like describing like a small encyclopedia of random stuff. It's like he'll learn as much as possible about something and then he'll just keep it comparted in, like, in his head. Like he, he never forgets stuff. So honestly, he's the living example of the saying, uh, the variety is the spice of life. He's a great guy. So <laughs> just going through the things that he did and continues to do, it's incredible, um, really. So just like to start with, like, he got into like chess, he got into computers, games, board games, um, math, he got into, um, like he was really deep into fish for some reason. And like <laughs> beer, wine, motorcycles, coffee, coffee. yeah, pho, barbecue, hot sauce. Hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he, he's done a lot, he's done a lot. So. As, uh, as far as I know, like, I think he's going forward. He's probably going to be starting to grow his own pepper soon. <laughs> Something like that. But uh, yeah, Leonard, Leonard is a, a natural trailblazer, a natural leader. <laughs> and the same, at the same time, he's kind of somewhat of an unruly free spirit. So I'm glad to ha he has Mina to act as an anchor. <laughs> <laughs> so how effective that is or how it will be, I'm not sure. But um, I think it'll be all right in the end. Like, like they, they've, they've traveled together a lot frequently. I've been on a couple of the trips. So from an objective standpoint, I think, they did, I think they're doing pretty good. So yeah, I think I'll, do, I think I'll turn out just fine. <laughs> so uh, in, clo in closing, I just want to say, in, con in closing, I just want to say, Respect and enjoy your time together. Don't sweat the small stuff. Uh, travel this uh, journey of marriage together with happy thoughts, and uh, you will be blessed going forward. So, man. <laughs> Here's to a happy and healthy marriage. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.
No, you're fine, you're fine. You're fine. Kiss! Kiss!